Hey everybody, I'm back on the bench again. Hey, I got the uh, DigiKey order in, and capacitors have arrived, and I've uh, recapped this thing. I was having some issues a little bit earlier. We were, uh, anyway, I've had this, uh, I've had this board out here. This is the uh, attenuator board uh, for the scope, and I, uh, the reason I had it out is so I could work on the horizontal board just below that and this lines up pretty well that seems to be it there okay there's a uh, three screws hold this on and go through some standoffs to, uh, I sure don't want those I don't need some This has to go all the way down here. Yeah, this the board. I mean, these boards all stack up here, uh, and then they inter interconnect. Watch your fingers. The delay line needs to go down below there, like that. Can you see what we're doing? Yeah, it looks like we're all right. All right. Yeah, I can't. I don't have a monitor on this, so I have no idea what you can see exactly until after the fact set it up in the viewfinder and hope for the best that's all we got folks um and uh, sorry about the noise in the background too you can probably hear my fan is cranking away that's on low actually because i was soldering a little bit ago and i just leave it on for a little while to clear all the any residues there may be left in the air i don't like to breathe i don't have an actual filter i just have a big old fan with an open window that works pretty well anyway i am screwdrivering the heck out of this thing no just kidding um yeah it was uh acting kind of weird this morning i wasn't getting any uh, horizontal tracing then lo and behold the doorbell rang and it was the postman with my uh, digi key order so i pulled the power supply board back out i didn't desolder the transformer because that would have been a gigantic pain in the pain in the butt so I didn't I didn't do that. What I did is I uh, got in with my desoldering tool and vacuumed the outsides of these two 2200 mic fired caps, and then I uh, I put my soldering iron, you know, stood them up, put the soldering iron right on there, and then just pulled it out as it heated up. And here's here's all the old caps from the uh, from the board. And then and then I fired it back up again afterward and. Uh, I think something it cleared up an issue. I wasn't having any sweep, but I checked the the 3.3 microfarad 160 volt cap. I haven't really figured out what exactly. I haven't gone through this power supply to make see what it does. But it had a real high. Uh, I checked it with the meter, and it's got a crazy high uh, ESR. And then I put this thing back up, fired it up, and then the sweep trace came back. So I don't know. Maybe the repairing all the caps in the power supply got this thing. Uh, chooching again that would be great anyway I, um, you know I was checking things out I got a real a real nice signal out uh, it's about 1.094 kilohertz and uh, let's see what happens here let me turn this thing around now, I got that board back on and then, uh, you know some leads in here can we see what's going on oh yeah we can um, we're running out of time that's another thing this stupid card I don't, I'm limited to eight minutes and 43 seconds of shooting at a time so that makes it limited a little bit and what I think I might do now is um, stop this right about here just when things are getting exciting be sure to tune in next week no I'm just kidding I'll, I'll stop it and through the magic of a uh, video it'll be an instantaneous event for you um, but I'm going to unload that. I'm going to clean that video card up and and unload this part, and then so I can get a full eight more minutes to uh, fire this up, see what we got going here. So I'll be right back. Okay, and. That was quick, wasn't it? We're back. And, 
I'm going to turn the fan off because I had some time to clear the air, but it's amazing how much more quiet it is on the video, or how loud I should say it is on the video, because it isn't that loud in the room. But man, on the, the speaker really must pick up that frequency. I'm going to reach in front of you and turn that light off. Turn this one off. Let's see what's happening here. There you can see the trace, I think. Uh, there's our position. There's our gain. And before, we were having some weird... Binga binga. <coughs> yeah, I think what was happening before was... I was having voltage problems. From the power supply. Mr. Carlson's always right. You know, if you're having issues, recap it. You know, yeah, that's a little bit weird looking. Kind of chopped off at the top. I'm not sure why that is. I know. I think I might know why. Um, this connection, the uh, Y connection, is going in. It's pretty bent up and kind of goofy. I I was having a real hard time getting this thing hooked up. I, what, probably what I'm gonna do is I'll stop. See, that's, that's kind of looking weird. That should be taller than that on the vertical, I'm pretty sure. And you can even see a little bit of a circle in there right now. And also, I'm having some trouble with this switch, which is stupid. All right, it's a crappy switch. I got this at the swap, ham swap meet last year for a bucket of switches for five bucks. Like, 75 switches, I'm not kidding. Some are not so good. You know, they're all used. But, as it is, I've had a lot of luck with most of them. Anyway, that's kind of weird. See it? Let's see that me. See that? That. See how we're having some. That's me just adjust monkeying with this thing. I think I'm gonna clean that up. And I monkey with this. See, now I don't have that vertical anymore. See how that went away? All right. So I got position control again. The trace is staying on there. I have sweep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and open this up, and uh, and I'm going to re try and some maybe find another switch and um, rewire this Y input circuit here for the. Uh, for the vertical axis and uh, I think after that we'll have ourselves a real good little unit um, yeah I was really happy that came back to life after I changed the caps nice now I'm back kind of where I was I was having some issues with the vertical control and with the stabilization regarding this switch here when you switch from high to low current anyway um, well you saw what I got there that it basically I think what we have is some um, connection issues and uh, I'll get those straightened out, and we'll be back with the uh, with the results, and I'll show you what it what it looks like when I I'll test the Zener diode and and a couple of a couple of caps, and we'll see what we got. All right, thanks. Stand by. All right, let well, me we'll get the board, this uh, attenuator board out, and I do not want to dig this up. In the sim. little cat and the cat looks like it's shorted out against the uh, or really closely coupled to that and that can't be good I might have done that I wonder if that is all it was I'll bet you anything because that's right where that goes and it was just short right to ground I'm gonna reach in here with another special deal I got where the hell did that go it's got a little slot in the end there. You can kind of get around the pliers and help you bend or straighten stuff. 
and how you want. And this. strain on that little I think what I might do I almost want to put some hot snot on this thing to keep lock this in right here so this doesn't wiggle and then I can adjust that where I want it I think that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna get the hot thing done up back together. I'm gonna fan. I'm gonna turn that off so you can hear better. All right, that's uh, let's see. Oh, hang on. I'll try and plug it in. That, that might help a little bit. All right, here we go. Here's my probes. Screwed no expense. You got the best, best probes in the world for 17 bucks. Probe Master. You can get any kind of ends you want on them. I got straight, I've got some bent, you know, you could get them with the shield of banana jacks and all that. Hey, look at what we got there. That's a little bit weird looking. There's gain, so we can go from a dot, from a dot to a nice horizontal line. And there we go. I'm a capacitor. <laughs> well, looks like it's working. I think I have to make some adjustments here. That's not very much and then that's got that weird kind of a loop going there I'm not sure probably too much gain yeah I'll adjust it get the adjustments just right but uh, overall I'm real happy that's I mean that's look at that nice I mean bright so bright you can blow it out uh, good sharp focus and uh, obviously it detects a low capacitance um and dead short and all right well cool i'm really happy with this this is and it's a nice crisp blue trace um, i like that a lot better than running it off a digital scope and this is a dedicated signature tracer now i mean i'm not going to use this for a scope again ever i never did i bought this specifically in mind to make the Mr. Carlson's lab um, signature slash curve tracer um, got the you know months ago I etched this board and then I looked and looked and looked for you know I I used it I just mounted on the bench powered powered up and used it with my, uh, my other analog scope I have there and I had a couple other old old 1950s and 60s scopes but they're just huge and heavy this is perfect it's 19 inches long eight six seven inches wide nine inches high weighs 15 14 pounds it's perfect couldn't be happier all right everyone take care we'll talk to you later well <clears throat> here we are another fantastic project by mr carlson's lab um we're all done pretty well uh I mean, it's just a great little device. We've got the uh, vertical. I mean, I have to adjust. I got to adjust this a little bit so that it it's sitting at an angle. I'm not sure why. There's some kind of a deal going on there, but you can see it measures low capacitance just fine. Anyway, I'm pretty satisfied how this turned out. Um, yeah, nice bright trace sharp focus and if we, we set that like that it straightens right out but you don't get to gain the vertical not sure what's going on but anyway I'll figure it out and get it adjusted perfectly but uh, 
that's the main thing get it right and uh, get it running and then we can tune it in from there all right thanks for watching everybody uh, take care